Hey guys, Rob Miller here from Flight Sim today. And so, have you been asking why have there been not many reviews recently and things like that? And so, I wanted to review something that um, I've been using a lot recently. And it's basically this new dispatching tool. Um, it is freeware. You have to sign up. Um, and once you've done it, um, you'll find out that it is absolutely awesome. Um, words can't describe how how um, how good it actually is, and it's always been developed um, and made better. Um, so the guy who runs it, it's on the ball, um, willing to listen to any uh, any input you might have, and trying to always put new new things in there. So. Um, <clears throat> basically, if you go to simbrief.com, you'll see the top left, uh, simbrief.com, and sign up, then uh, you get access to a list. And the first bit we're looking at here is the dispatch options page. Now, I have already done a flight on here and set it up um, for British Airways. If I'm just going to change that uh, on there, my keyboard's running out of. Power. Um, so let's say okay. Let's change the time and today's dates. So far we've got so it's British Airways. The flight number is nine five six Mike, Airbus A three nineteen. <coughs> Excuse me. From Heathrow to Munich, 14th of August, and we're departing at uh, 0700 Zulu. The route now it doesn't generate a route. Um, you can find uh, routes from the resources you've got below. Um, it's, this is a route that got generated here. So Dover to Conan to Amasi to Bombay to Nora, and then into Munich. On the right, um, you have your selections here. So you can have uh, pounds or uh, kilograms the units. You know, detailed navlog, e touch planning. You can put step climbs in. I have runway analysis, which I've ticked. Uh, you can include NOTAMs, and you can include the include the FIR NOTAMs, which I don't. Um, you can put them in there. And then going down, we have the time on route, uh, the alternate, your flight level, cruise. I'm just going to make one of these up. Uh, is that enough numbers? I've got too many. I'll leave it at that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Fin number, cell code. I we'll have one. Uh, fuel factor, captain name. Obviously, I'm a star, Rob Miller. I uh, have 162 passengers on board. The zero fuel weight for the flight is 61.5 tons with one ton of extra fuel. So that's the basic bare essentials you put in. And then we'll hit generate. And we'll press OK. So I'm going to go off now and generate. The, uh, the the actual briefing package for us. So let that do its thing. When it does that, I might just pause it. Okay. So it's now generated all. All right. So we have all the information we put in earlier at the top. It's up 32 seconds to generate it. We have the routing. Now, one thing I like to do here is take out the first part. Oh, I thought it used to let me. Maybe it stopped learning. I'll leave it in for the time being. For there, all right. You let me take it out. Um, one thing I will point out: the actual cycles for your nav package. Um, if you do have a subscription to Navigraph, you can also use it on here. Um, to update it so you constantly um, on the ball with your nav data. So you have uh, the paper preview down below. Uh, you can print it off, view as PDF, pre file to VATSIM, or can download the flight plan into um, your uh, flight simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So in this instance, I always just view as PDF, and here we have it here. So bits about the cross the top here. Um, obviously we've got the, the flight number, so Speedbird 956 Mike, 14th of August 2013, Captain Miller, which is myself, uh, is an A319 uh, with a fin number 1234, which we put in before, and the uh, 
Actually, I'm missing a letter out there, but yep, there's the registration. Uh, the dispatcher today was Brooke Alvarado. I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, okay, but yet no, no remarks. Continuous fuel free delays. Um, there's no mail items that are out that we need to know of. Uh, the flight plan route. Uh, departing London Heathrow 27 right. Uh, it's predicting. I think they're using 27 left. Um, but we can again give you an idea. Uh, and again, there's the whole flight plan in there. Arriving in Munich on the 08 right. Uh, scrolling down a little bit. You have the fuel. Now we have 7 tons of fuel, uh, block fuel to load. Expecting 3.5. Um, once we reach our destination uh, from there uh, moving down you have your cost indexes uh, expecting to burn a little bit more fuel if we go down a flight level um, so if we are a bit bumpy then we need to go higher rather than lower again the dispatcher is Brooke Alvarado uh, this does change um, which makes it more the, the immersive factor is it actually generates different dispatches each time then you can sign down there to release the flight. Uh, you have your, your time. So, for example, we can depart at local time, 8 o'clock in the morning, um, and arriving at 10.34 local in the morning into Munich, which would give us a block time of 1 hour 34. And then you can fill it in if you do choose to print it off down the right. Um, and we're operating... Probably the, the, the almost the max for the A319 here uh, with the weights, uh, say 60.5 tons landing weight, and it's 61 tons landing weight, the max uh, to give you an idea. And then you've got the flight log in detail, you know, all the way down for each one. You got the wind information, so the top of the climb and all the the different waypoints you're going to be passing. So there's our 360. Uh, so you get the idea of the winds. Would you go higher? Would you go lower? Uh, things like that. You can check that. And then just the most under full information of the flight plan is in there. Um, any crew alerts? Basically, the crew alerts are just updates uh, from Simbrief. Anything new? Um, the amount of putting goes in there. And then you have your no TAMs. So the departure for London Heathrow uh, is all in here. And for the, uh, for the actual airport, the airfield, then you have the no tams for the runway. And these are all I checked earlier for more so for arrivals, so they would not in this instance affect us. Um, and then the Munich no tams, so again, all the airport, this one is actually new, uh, wasn't there earlier. Taxiway centerline Delta 3 Blue is permitted for aircraft with maximum wind span of 34 10 meters doesn't make sense but we'll do somebody else um, so yeah so you have all the no tams there and then uh, any no tams for the approach procedures for example um, one that I checked out earlier if you go into runway 26 right or 26 left it is now changed to 262 degrees um, on there uh, however I mean that's old news now but as I'm going they still keep you there um, the old turn it then into Nuremberg. You have all the no tams for there, so you can check up on them if needs be. And then we have the weather. So, for example, at Heathrow right now, um, the winds are 2105 knots, uh, vary between 160 to 240, and the climb visibility is okay, 15 degrees, QH 1024 uh, from there. And then into Munich, uh, again, light winds, 5 knots. Uh, Visibility is fine, 16 degrees, uh, 1023. Not going to change now, not going to change in the next two hours. It's going to take us two hours to get there, so you can pretty much guarantee that will be the weather upon arrival. And then also you have the weather for your, your destination or your alternate destination. And then it's going down a bit. We then have the uh, the overall flight plan and any pockets of, of dodgy weather. Um, across the routine would appear in there as well and that would then end the briefing package so a lot of detail really immersive okay, you can print it off um, it's all there if you want it like I say it's free 
which is outrageous. Um, really cool just to generate this. You got it all in front of you. You want to print it off? You got it all. One thing I would say is don't print the whole lot off. Um, print the select few pages you might need, uh, which would help because it is a lot. I mean, this here is uh, 17 pages long. You could go back to back, but you know, when you're printing that off. Uh, oh no, again. So, yes, it's simbrief.com. Um, hopefully, it stays around. It's not another fly by night, but the guys using it, I mean, he's constantly updating it. And I think the more and more people get on board and he sees that, well, everyone wants it, then uh, the more it'll be redone. So, that's me. I say simbrief.com. Do check it out. My name's Rob Miller. Watch some today. Thanks.